Three is not, I want to say this, three is not bad. Like three is, what is that, 60%? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I would have got 60% in school, I would have been stoked. What about you? I would have been in trouble. <laughs> Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a big bucket of poutine and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes. Every Sunday. Sometimes we don't. Today, we're reviewing a burger joint, and it's called Blaze Gourmet Burgers. Ho, ho, ho. It's near Olympic Village. Olympic Village is where the Olympic housing was when we had the Olympics in 2010 in Vancouver. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the interior. What do you think of the interior? They have a patio and there were some people sitting outside because the weather was nice today. I imagine when the weather is even nicer in the summer, it's pretty busy out there. And there are some seats inside, maybe about eight tables. Um, we sat in the corner and I'm assuming this place is probably pretty popular for takeout or delivery because Amir told me about this place when he ordered it for delivery to his work for lunch one day. Two for one. Ate two burgers to my dome. This place is not a vegan place, unfortunately, but they do have a lot of vegan options. In fact, they have a plant-based vegan section in the menu. And another super cool thing about this place is they got meatless Mondays. So on Mondays, you could get their burger and fries for $15 which is an amazing. I love the fact that a meat place has meatless Mondays. Let's talk about the food we got. I got the vegan Chipotle chicken blaze. I got the impossible blaze and we shared the poutine. Whoop, whoop. I really wanted to try this poutine because I always want to try poutine if I see it on the menu. And we asked what kind of cheese they use for their shreds, and they use daya. And I don't like daya. I tried to avoid eating it when I was eating the poutine. But for you viewers, I ate some of the daya on this poutine so I could tell you all about it. And it wasn't that bad. It wasn't covered with daya. I thought the fries were overly deep fried to the point where they were hard. Fries should be crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. Not hard, hard, hard. I was like cracking them open pretty much. And when they're so hard, they don't absorb the gravy very well. And then as you got to the bottom of the poutine, there wasn't very much gravy left. So in the end, I was eating mostly fries. No, I agree with you. I definitely think, and I was gonna say this as well, that the fries were a little bit too crispy. The gravy was good. It had dried onions on there as well, which I thought went really well with the poutine. The gravy wasn't enough, like Diana said. And they are, I got no problems with at all. I like daya, I like vegan cheese altogether. And overall, decent. One, One two, two, three. I like it three as well. Which is not bad. Three is not, I want to say this, three is not bad. Let's talk about the Impossible Blaze. Take it fam. On the Impossible Blaze, it uses the Impossible Patty, vegan cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and vegan Blaze sauce. Very, very important. I asked ahead of time, what cheese do they use? And they said they use chow, which I'm very, very happy about because I like chow. Now on to the burger. It doesn't come with any sides. If you want sides, you have to add them to your meal. That adds up quickly in terms of how much it costs. So since we had the poutine already, I didn't add any sides. The cheese could have been melted much more nicely. It wasn't really melted at all. Overall, it was a 
solid burger for sure, but I'm gonna come back to the price. It's a little bit expensive for just one vegan burger with no sides. I thought the burger was really good. The sauce is really good. It's almost like a Big Mac sauce. The patty itself, obviously impossible. I can't go wrong with it. The bread, nice and fresh. Dr. Diana said we asked what kind of cheese they use. And the answer was soy. And this chow is not. And we asked if they could ask exactly what, what brand it was. And then she came and said chow. I wish when places have vegan options, the staff is a little bit more educated on it. And it's not on the staff, but how the heck does the staff know? I think it's the responsibility of the restaurant to let the staff know exactly what it is in the vegan dishes, because it would be very really helpful. Overall, pretty decent burger. I liked it. Shall we? One, One two, two, three. Wow, you give it a three. What? What? Perfect. You... Yeah, it was a delicious burger. I feel like the price is so expensive. Oh, that's a with different... no sides. Like how much was it? It was seventeen dollars. Oh, that is cheap. So seventeen dollars plus tax plus tip. You're looking at like a twenty dollar burger. For just a burger. Yeah, that's a lot nowadays. Fair. Before we talk about vegan Chipotle chicken blaze, let's talk about subscribing to this vegan Chipotle channel. That's vegan. If you like what we do, if you like our content, do us a favor, do yourself a favor, press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. What does the bird sound like? Ding, ding. <laughs> vegan Chipotle chicken sandwich. I thought this was delicious. So they use light life chicken breasts, which is pretty common these days. And it's a really good one. So I don't blame them. Bread, nice and fresh again. Sauce, really good. It came with a pickle on top. It had jalapenos in there. Liked it a lot. What do you think? Light life is, in my opinion, the best fake meat chicken patty there is. It tastes so good. It's my favorite. And it was a decent burger. However, the Light Life patty, if you've seen it before in a store and you've bought it, it's kind of like a long shape. It's not like a round burger patty shape. So when you have a round burger patty bun and you have that Light Life chicken shape, it doesn't match. It's like some of the burger is empty because there's no chicken. It's like a triangle. But that's how chicken pat chicken patties are normally. Even if you get like a animal chicken burger. No, it's for shaped animal like chicken burgers, you can get round ones, trust me. I know, but if you get it from like, I don't know, it's... But at least... I think you're net pick. No, no, because if you... Okay, so let's say if you get an actual chicken breast burger, right? Like the animal chicken, Yes, the chicken breast can be of different sizes. So yeah. you would choose one that kind of matches your shape of the um, bun. So the Light Life one, it's uniform. Like, that's what you get. All of them are the same. So you're not going to be able to choose one that matches the shape of your bun. So my suggestion is, why not make a bun or buy a bun, not make, of course, mm -hmm. just buy, but use a bun that's more of an oval <laughs> shape. Then uh, the surface of the patty but would then it's not a burger. More... It's not a burger, it's a sandwich. A sandwich and a burger are the same thing, essentially. What? This is this has been my stance <laughs> forever and you've been arguing me on this. I have? Yes. Maybe they're not the same thing, but I'm just saying. You could call it a chicken sandwich, but match the bun to the shape of the fake chicken thing. Nonsense. No, it totally Nonsense. makes sense. I was thinking She's that when I was She's eating it. She's on her no, own. This is brilliant because Absolutely why not. do I want to eat like <laughs> empty bun? That's the thing between the two of us. When I eat my burgers, I will never eat any bun that's left over because there's no more patty anymore and I just throw it away. Whereas Amir will eat every single bit of the burger bun, even when there's no patty anymore. I even eat the hairs. Exactly. One, One two, two, three. three. I'm giving a three as well. I'm giving it a five. Enjoy it. Dude, your burger was even more expensive than my burger. 
One of the gentlemen who was working there, I'm not sure if he was the owner or one of the general managers, but he was definitely VIP, we could just tell. He was kind enough to give us a dessert to try. It was a chocolate cake and it was delicious. I love chocolate cake, I love chocolate, anything chocolate I really like. It has some kind of a hard chocolate on the top and inside was nice and warm and soft and delicious. What do you think? Amir loved chocolate. Me on the other hand, <laughs> I don't love chocolate. If you give me chocolate, I'll eat it, but I don't think I'm as enthusiastic about it as he is. And honestly, to me, it was okay. One, One two, two, three. three. I'm wow. giving everything Holy a mediocre. Cow. That's what it is. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try it out yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Diana, I don't even know why I'm asking you this, but would you go back to the place? Yeah, on Mondays oh. when they have their promotion. The price is right, the food is vegan, and that's when I would go back. So yes, I would. How about you? Yes, I absolutely would. I thought it was great as well, and I enjoyed myself. Check out this video on Diana's face. It's also vegan, and we reviewed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.